Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a post-exercise stretch. So whether you're a runner, a cyclist, or you've just done a really intense HIIT workout, this uh, stretch routine is designed mostly for your legs, your hips, and your lower back. It is gonna bring in some upper body, so it is gonna stretch out your upper body, but mainly focusing on the legs and the lower back, just to stretch us out. It's definitely designed for people that feel they don't have enough time because you can get this done in five minutes. I do recommend staying in the postures for about 20 seconds, but honestly modify it to where you're comfortable. We are gonna start standing. It's gonna consist of three standing stretches and three seated stretches. So you're gonna come either to the back of the mat or you can do this just outside. Bring your feet hips distance apart. Bring your hands all the way down to the ground Bend your knees where you need to if your hamstrings are quite tight and start walking your hands out in front of you. Coming to about the distance of a high plank, you're gonna bring your hands nice and wide, spread your fingertips, push your hips up and come to your downward dog. Your legs are nice and warm from your exercise so you can find some stillness. Pull the hips up, stretch through the hamstrings, let your heels come down. Maybe start working into your upper back now, letting your back straighten. Maybe the crown of your head is coming down towards the ground. Then coming into our pigeon pose next, we're gonna bend our right knee, bring the knee forward and bring it in between the hands. Send your left leg back nice and straight hands either side of the uh, right leg and either just staying up here or bringing your forearms down to the mat and relaxing the head. The most important thing with pigeon is keeping our hips nice and square. If you find you're falling over to one side, grab maybe a block or a cushion and just put it underneath that hip that's on the ground. Alternatively, if you feel like you're not getting as much of a stretch from pigeon, you can bring your leg out a lot more squarer. So front leg is nice and square. Just ensure your legs, your, sorry, your hips are nice and square and you're not falling over to one side. Coming into the other side, we're gonna tuck the back toes and step that right foot all the way back. Come back to our downward dog to begin with. Then bend the left knee and bring the knee in between the hands. Send your right leg back nice and straight. And either staying up here on your hands or coming down to your forearms. Remember if your hips are falling to one side, just pop that block underneath your hip. And again, if you're nice and flexible, you can bring the front leg a lot more square just to get more out of your stretch. Pressing your hands into the mat, tuck the back toes and step the left leg all the way back. Come back to your downward dog. Our next pose is gonna be our twisted lizard. So we're gonna bend the right knee and bring the right foot all the way forward in between the hands. Relax your left knee down and relax your left foot. Start walking the right foot out towards the edge of the mat. Bring your hands below your shoulders. Your hips are pushing forward and down, your gaze is forward. Then we're gonna kick the left foot up behind you and with your right hand, reach around to the outside of that ankle. Flex the foot away, look over the shoulder let your quad stretch and stretch through the whole body. Gently release, bring your hands back down below your shoulders, tuck your left toes, raise that left leg and step your right foot all the way back, come to your downward dog. Straight into the other side, bend the left knee and step the left foot all the way forward. Drop down to your right knee, relax your right foot and walk the left foot out to the side. Hands come below the shoulders, kick the right foot up, left arm reaches round and grabs hold of the ankle from the outside. Flex the foot away, pull that leg away, and then open up the shoulder, look over your left shoulder. Gently 
Gently release, bring the hands back down, tuck your right toes, step the left foot all the way back. From your high plank, you're gonna walk your feet all the way forward, fold down towards your feet, then bring your hips all the way down and sitting down on the mat. Having your knees bent and the soles on the ground, bring your upper body down. We're gonna bend the left knee and then bring your left ankle on top of the right thigh. Bring the right foot off the ground. With your left hand, take it through the hole you've made and right hand comes over the top of the shin, interlace the fingers. If that's too tight, just hold onto the back of that thigh. Bring your upper back down and pull that leg towards you. To change over sides, just release the hands and let the right foot come all the way down. Release the left ankle, let it come all the way down to the mat. Then bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Bring the left foot off the ground, put your right hand through the hole you've made, left hand round the side and interlace the fingers either on top of the shin or behind the thigh and pull that leg towards you. Your upper back is nice and relaxed. To come out, just gently release the hands, release the left foot down and release the right foot down. You're gonna use your core strength just to bring the body back up. Bring yourself towards the, ed towards the top end of the mat. Bring your knees down onto the ground but make a decent distance in there for your seat. You're gonna relax your feet down and sit down onto the mat in between your feet. If this is really intense for your ankles, just sit on a block and stretch the legs here. If you're finding this nice and easy in the stretch, let your seat come all the way down and start walking your arms back. Coming onto your hands first, and then lowering down onto your elbows, slowly working with your body. And if you're okay in this stretch, relaxing down onto your back, bring your arms over your head and put each hand to the opposite elbow. Come out of the stretch, just reverse how you came in, bring your elbows towards your side, push up onto your elbows and bring the hands back towards your feet, then come all the way back up onto your hands, lift your seat up and just tuck the toes underneath and just bring the weight into the feet, just to stretch the feet back the other way. Our final stretch now is coming into our straddle pose. So you're going to bring your legs nice and wide and you're either going to do this final stretch either in straddle or with one leg straight and one leg bent. So it completely depends on your own flexibility and your own preference. I'll show you first with one leg straight and one knee bent. We're going to bring, so I've got my left leg straight and my right knee bent. I'm going to bring my left hand just in front. And my right arm is going to start reaching over and stretching down towards that left foot. Opening up your side body, stretching through the back. If you can grab hold of that foot with the hand, you're going to grab hold and just take your gaze underneath your arm and start looking up. Stretching all the way through the body. If you're not quite there, your arm's just over the top. Really gently release and then coming over to the other side. So now even um, having your right leg bent and your left knee, sorry, right leg straight, left knee bent, or both legs out in straddle. Right hand's just gonna place on the mat in front of you and left arm's gonna start reaching over towards that right foot. If you're holding on to that foot, take your gaze up and under should feel this stretch all the way down the side body through your lower back. 
And when you're ready, really gently releasing and coming back up. Hope you enjoyed that stretch, guys. And now you're all ready to have some food.